a powerful and wild echidna who is a close friend of Sonic. He is determined and serious, but sometimes gullible. After an unexpected request from Dr. Eggman, he decides to join Sonic and Tails in their search for Princess Elise. Rougher than the rest of them, Knuckles is an absolute beast when it comes to combat. His unmatched combo diversity combined with his souped-up gliding capabilities make him a joy to control. Of course, pressing the jump button in the air starts a glide. As long as the button is held, Knuckles will move in the direction of the left stick and slowly fall toward the ground, gaining speed during his descent. You can cancel his glide by letting go of the jump button and reinitiate it by pressing it again. However, with this method, there is about a quarter of a second of delay before the glide starts up again. Gliding or jumping into a vertical surface causes Knuckles to grab it. From here, he can climb up or down in any direction. To let go, either go all the way to the end of the surface, which I don't recommend, or simply jump. The fastest way to climb up isn't even by climbing at all. Simply jump against the surface until Knuckles grabs grabs it, then jump again. Repeat until you've ascended to the heavens. Pressing the attack button on the ground makes Knuckles punch. The button can be pressed an additional two times for a three-hit combo, and hitting a different button on the third time performs a different finisher. The standard finisher is the Stonebreaker from the original game, which greatly damages enemies in an area around Knuckles, instantly finishing off most. Pressing the secondary attack button instead finishes with the Dash Punch, returning from Sonic Adventure. This lunges Knuckles forward a short distance, damaging anything in his way. Pressing the secondary action button, the same one that Sonic uses for the light dash, finishes with the Crimson Uppercut, inspired by Sonic Adventure 2. This is a great option for taller enemies that are harder to defeat. Knuckles is no slouch when it comes to aerial combat either. Pressing the attack button while in the air activates the Ground Shaker, a powered up version of the drill drive from Sonic Adventure 2. With this move, Knuckles will dive downward until he hits the ground. The dive's direction can be slightly influenced by the left stick and can be canceled into a glide by pressing the jump button. While diving down, this move can damage enemies in the way. And when landing, the ground shaker will emit a shockwave that stuns enemies in its area of effect. The sound design is great, too. And that's all. Just like Tails, Knuckles is what- Wait, what's that? Holding the secondary attack button on the ground and releasing it near an enemy causes Knuckles to do the screwdriver? Holding the button for longer will increase its power as well? Huh. Well, I guess now that's all. Just like Tails, Knuckles takes a supporting role in PO6, so his moveset isn't too robust. It's really cool to see his combat become more varied, though, rather than just the simple one-two punch. A big thank you to Chaos X for fact-checking this video, and to Beats for the character switcher mod that allows me to vary up the settings for Knuckles' move demonstrations. Shout out to all the members of the Stumo crew that keep this content rolling. If you'd like to be a part of the credits, see exclusive posts, or watch these videos early, hit that join button below the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.